Beside the wide stone fireplace, where a parsimonious fire burned, and a polished brass barrel clock sat on the mantel, a saucy-eyed young woman who rivaled Seleucia, and with her blouse unlaced nearly to her waist to prove it, swayed her hips and sang, accompanied by a hammered dulcimer, and a flute, a song about a woman juggling all of her lovers. She sang in a suitably bawdy voice. None of the patrons appeared to be listening. As I walked out one fine spring day, I met young Jack who was pitching hay. His hair so fair, his eyes were too. I gave him a kiss, but what could I do? We snuggled and we tickled while the sun rose high. And I won't say how often he made me sigh. Lowering her hood, Tuan stopped just inside the door and frowned around the room. Are you certain this is a hell, Master Marilyn? she asked. In a low voice, thank the light. Some places a question of that sort could get you thrown out, and roughly, silk coat or no. In others, the price is just doubled. I assure you, you won't find a bigger collection of thieves and rascals anywhere in Madarin at this hour, Tom murmured, stroking his mustaches. Now Jack gets an hour when the sky is clear. Tuan looked doubtful, but with Seleucia at her shoulder, she walked over to stand in front of the singer, who faltered a moment at Tuan's intense scrutiny before catching the song up again. She sang over the top of Tuan's head, plainly attempting to ignore her. It seemed that with every other verse, the woman in the song added a new lover to her list. The male musician, playing the dulcimer, smiled at Seleucia and got a frosty stare back.